Dajia Hao. I'm Nathan Rich, aka Hu Guo Da Wang. The time has come, my friends, to launch an ongoing attack on fascism. I've been quietly promising my Patreon subscribers that I will address the fascist network for some time, but I don't think even they know how big it really has become. I certainly didn't until my research. So let's begin this important business. Let's start exposing these channels. First, an influential anti China YouTube channel called China Uncensored. Let's check out a recent video with a very scary name and thumbnail China to double nuclear warheads. Yes, that is true. China has a plan to increase its nukes over 10 years. Let's hear what Chris Chappell has to say about it. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. What a lovely background here. Various buildings from mainland China. Which is kind of funny because as far as I know, Chris has never even been to mainland China. But hey, why would you need to go somewhere to have a strong opinion about it? And there are some little TV panels all over the background, giving that almost subliminal idea that this is actual news you're watching. So let's hear what he has to say. China is aggressively expanding its nuclear weapons capacity. Aggressively. The tone is set. China is the aggressor here. The US and Russia have been reducing their strategic nuclear arsenal. Each side was allowed only 6,000 nuclear warheads. That is a lie. START sought only to limit deployed nukes, not total amount of nukes, deployed nukes. Then in 2010, President Barack Obama came up with the new START treaty. That lowered it to 1,550. Notice here that he has clearly stated twice that the START treaty limits the amount of nukes. This is, again, a lie. The United States does not have 1,550 nukes. It has around 6,000 nukes today. China has around 300. We'll come back to that, though, when he tries to cash in on this lie. But first, he rambles about China doing a lot of ballistic missile testing and Chinese parenting, and then continues with the main thrust. They rolled out submarines capable of carrying nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles. China has nuclear submarines. Uh-huh. Let's put up a graphic of nuclear subs per capita. As well as a nuclear-capable strategic bomber. As well as bombers. Tensions between the U.S. and China are already extremely high. Tensions are extremely high because of channels like yours directly because of people like you. To further prove this point, let's expand on this bomber, nuke, and submarine scare you've just given us. Let's look at China versus the United States military metrics from various websites. These are approximate, but you should get the idea. Aircraft, combat aircraft, dedicated attack aircraft, attack helicopters, combat tanks, armored vehicles, entire Navy fleet, aircraft carriers. It goes on and on and on. The United States is objectively the biggest, most militarily dominant and aggressive nation. It's not even close. But from watching your video, I get the idea that China's the biggest threat. China currently participates to some degree in non-proliferation of chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear weapons. Here's where China Uncensored really shines. China is involved with many weapons limitations programs. That's a good thing. But somehow we're confused into thinking that's bad. Only by being involved in the treaties can they pressure other countries to reduce their chemical, biological, and nuclear weapons. See how he did that? Yeah, Chris, China's so sneaky. How dare they participate in weapons limiting programs while having proportionately very few weapons? What are they, peaceful? Now let's take a look at how Chris tries to cash in on the lies he told about what START meant. It makes sense for them to expand their nuclear capacity. After all, Russia and the US supposedly have only about 1,500 nuclear warheads. Even if China doubles theirs, that would only bring it up to about 600 or so. It almost sounds like he's saying the U.S. and Russia combined have 1,500. What he really means, though, is that the U.S. has around 1,500, which is a lie. They have around 6,000 nukes. Let's put another graphic on the screen to add some proper context to this video. This is the ratio of nukes per capita for China and the United States. The higher, the more armed. The U.S. has over 18 nukes per million people living in it. Meanwhile, China has 
0.22 per million people. Are you starting to get the picture? This video is lying to you so that you really feel China is not only dangerous, it's disproportionately a threat. Once the facts come out, the whole thing starts to change. He's got you worried about China becoming, in 10 years, 1 40th as proportionately nuclear as the United States is now. People in China don't deserve even 2.5% of what Americans deserve, Chris. Is that right? What percent human are they, Chris? Every single one of China Uncensored videos is this easy to shred. Generally, they use lies and misrepresentations to build a narrative about China or the Chinese government and people that dismisses, belittles, mocks, insults, or debases. But China Uncensored is not just another fascist YouTube channel. It's quite a bit more sinister than most understand. And I'll get into that soon. If you want to help me dismantle and destroy this mega fascist network, support this channel directly on a schedule. If you don't, no one will and the network I'm going after will attack me for this. Will you be with me? Until next time, thanks everybody. See ya.